I am in Soma National Park. It's the flood season in here right now. And it's really amazing foggy spring morning. Really perfect conditions for landscape photography and making videos. Actually arrived there last night a couple hours before the sunset. light is disappearing so quickly so I I didn't have much time for making videos but today I think I have been already on these flooded meadows for three or four hours and it's still so fo foggy Usually the fog disappears a couple, couple hours or even just right after the sunrise. But today it's really this mystical and magical vibes in here. So beautiful. It is so amazing that I can have all this just for myself. I'm out here alone, focused on capturing landscapes and uh, also making some uh, adventure or self-portrait photography uh, when I'm setting up my camera on a tripod and will be model by myself. And actually one of the best investments I did before this trip were these uh, long rubber boots that uh, give me chance to uh, walk on these flooded meadows and it gives so much more flexibility for taking photos and videos For this year the water level right now is the highest it gets and it stays only for a few days so you really need to be here on time to see it and experience it. The fog is now slowly disappearing and I believe I found the perfect scene from here. A perfect image. There are these birch trees right next to the water and because the wind is really low the water is perfectly clear, perfectly flat and it makes this mirror effect and also it was minus uh, one or two degrees this morning so the tree tops are under the frost and 
It looks just so wonderful. I also wanted to share with you the two struggles that I have. Well, the first one is not really a struggle. It's just something something I want to show you. I would really love to show you behind the scenes of me taking the photos. But right now I only have this one camera, so I can't film myself and take the photos at the same time. Uh, but it's not really a struggle, I just need to get myself a second camera. Of course it's getting a bit uh, um, harder to carry two cameras around, but I think I can manage it because I would really love to show you this behind the scenes. But the second struggle I have is about the language. Uh, Estonian language is really rare. Only around one million people in the world talks this and if there is seven or eight billion people in the world it's really small amount so I would really love to make these videos in Estonian to keep this language alive but at the same time I know that speaking in English gives uh, a lot more possibilities to reach more people with these videos. Of course I can make videos in Estonian and add subtitles, but it's it's not the same. But the struggle at the same time is that uh, I my vocabulary in English isn't that good as I want it to be. So it sometimes it's really hard to express my thoughts in in, core and in in correct language. So yes, I'm a lot thinking about should I make these videos in English or Estonian and add subtitles? But I think the English is right way to to reach more people and spread the message of uh, our nature and our country but but let me know in the comments what you think what should I do what language should I use for these videos